Hey everybody, this is Bill from CRZ Forum showing you off something that I just worked on this week. I just got in my board uh, from Batch PCB. So I designed this PCB myself and I uh, used Eagle CAD software. Um, I'll zoom in here a little bit. Um, it looks very professional. The board is is really really nice looking. Um, if you've ever done boards on your own, using like a an iron and or photo resist or anything, you don't get the through hole plating which this has, which is really nice, and you get the silk mask, silk screen, silk screen. So what the front of the board looks like, and the back of the board, really nice. Uh, and the finished board here's is here over on the left. Um, so what do we have here? Right here, this is a digital compass. This is a digital accelerometer. This little board is uh, it converts the five volt signals from the Arduino into three point three volt signals that are used for the digital accelerometer and compass. The two little sockets in the middle there, those are for, uh, one, one holds two buttons and the LEDs for it, and the other is the rotary encoder. Uh, you'll also notice there's a relay on the board. Let me zoom out here. Um, there's this little relay, and then there's this, which is the outputs or well, actually the common and then the output for the relay. And this has uh, this little like stereo speaker connection, three and a half millimeter. It's actually hooked up into, uh, there's a ground for the casing and then two analog inputs, uh, analog digital converter signals. You can see there's just a few resistors. Um, <clears throat> this is a, what do you call it, a parallel to serial converter so that I can get more outputs on the board. Uh, a little transistor on the back of the board. Uh, you'll notice one little screw up right there. In the schematic I hooked up the wrong pin so I had to make a quick fix. Um, you'll also notice that that, I'm not sure if that's showing up very well, the size of uh, of the boards there. Ooh. Come on, little autofocus. There you had it. There we go. You'll notice that the board is. Uh, I had to kind of kick it off to the side because I didn't make the whole spacing the correct size. So this is something I'll have to fix in the next version if I make one. Uh, so now let me show you that in action here. So this is this is the back of the of the dash kit. So what we, what you're looking at here is this is the actual LCD panel itself, the silver thing in the back. This control board here, the green one, is the LCD control board. Uh, this is the HDMI connector, and this is like a combination connector that has. Uh, with the RCA connectors and things like that on it. Uh, this little signal wire is the signal wire that switches the uh, the screen to show the rear view camera. And here are the cables that are hooked up to the buttons in the front. I'll flip it over in just a minute. Uh, here's the Arduino itself. It's an Arduino Uno SMD. And I just have it like hot glued to the board right there with some spacers. Uh, so we'll plug this in. Okay. Here's the USB cable. You'll notice it's recognized by the computer. 
Right now it's just it's not doing anything with the computer. It's just running uh, power, basically. Let's see if I can prop that up a little bit. Hey, that works. Okay. Uh, so you'll notice those three holes that used to be on the front are now not three holes. They have uh, a bit overexposed, but I think you'll figure it out. Uh, so the top one is blue. Actually, maybe you can't figure that out. <laughs> top one is blue. When you press the button, it lights up. Bottom one also a little blue, and it lights up when you press the button. The middle is uh, it's called a rotary encoder. So it's got a little rotation, and I'm sensing the rotation. As I scroll to the left, it the light goes dim, and as I scroll to the right, it gets brighter. It also has a little push button on it, so I can press it, and you'll notice it switches between the colors, between uh, green, blue, and red. And this is just a little demo application that I wrote just to make sure that all of the buttons and everything were working. Um, so I can switch it to red or whatever. I can turn this down, and actually the buttons match whatever the vol or whatever the brightness level is of, of the uh, LED there when you press it. So when you press it, the light will go out. Or if you hold this light, and then you can use this to control the brightness, that kind of thing. Like I said, just a little demo application just to make sure everything's working. Um, the little hole right there, that little hole is hooked up to the, uh, what do you call it, the remote control sensor of the Lilyput monitor. Uh, so since that's there now, when I put this into the front of the car, normally that little remote control sensor is behind the dash so I couldn't you know, actually change any of the settings with it. But now it's, you know, I can just use the remote control and change all the settings. I was having an issue where the monitor got stuck in the wrong input, so I had to pull the dash apart just to change it. Um, here's the other little thing that I worked on. Uh, so what this is, is an autopilot voltage and current sensor right here. Um, show you the back. I've done a little a couple modifications to it, which is why it has a little wire running through there. Um, you'll notice the connectors. These are actual like remote control car connectors. <laughs> but they, they handle a lot of current, so that's why I'm using them. And I don't really, I'm not putting a lot of current through my car PC. My car PC at max is going to use like maybe three amps, like at the most. Um, May, maybe 10 if I'm really pushing it um, and this is handling that no problem uh, and then the current and voltage sensor uh, signals I put on a little stereo connector so this is the stereo connector that will connect to the stereo connector on the back that's hooked up to the Arduino so that's what I've been working on I'm hoping to have this mounted in the car here pretty soon and then I will write some software for it to actually do fun things alright that's all for now thanks for watching